Hey, it's Mac with Maddox Transformer, and today we're talking about elbow terminations. We've partnered with our friends over at Hubble to bring you a comprehensive tutorial on dead front elbows and pad mount transformers from start to finish. And if you need to buy a transformer, keep Maddox in mind. We keep tons of transformers in stock from little dry types to pad mounts all the way up to big substation units. We're basically like a transformer superstore. So if you need to find a transformer to get a project done quick, call Maddox and we'll get you online. All right, let's dive right into elbows. Now, in addition to the proper elbow kits and cable, the tools you'll need to tackle these terminations are a ruler, a light marker, a cable scoring tool, a chamfering tool, pliers, mastic tape, black electrical tape, a cable cutting tool, an insulation stripping tool, a wire brush, a lug crimp, and cable cleaner. Okay, let's get into it. Hello, I'm Todd Neville, product manager for Hubble Power Systems Underground Cable Accessories. Today we're at Maddox Transformer Shop in Greenville, South Carolina. We're gonna talk about installing 200 amp elbows in Maddox pad mount transformers. So here we are sitting in front of a Maddox Transformer. We're gonna talk about the primary side of the transformer. This is where you find your bushing inserts and your primary bushings for three-phase pad mounts, you're gonna have three or six. Uh, make sure your transformer do come with bushings, but make sure you ground the bushings with a piece of number 14 copper, like these are grounded. It's a static ground. And then the next thing, if this transformer is gonna be on a end of a radio line, you need to ensure that you have arresters on the three bushings that are not being used because you need to protect that transformer and the equipment from lightning surges and switching surges. So you normally you'd have your MV and meter voltage cable coming in. So we're gonna break this cable in. You wanna take and make a, a mark where the elbow is gonna, gonna end up when you get your cable prep. So break your cable, train your cable to where it needs to be, then make your mark on that cable so that elbow will fit exactly where you need it to fit when you get done prepping your cable. Okay, now we're gonna prep our cable, install our elbow on the cable. We notice in the pad mount, we have 15 kV bushing inserts, which means we have to have 15 kV elbows to plug onto the 15 kV bushings. Okay, we're working on today's one all 15 kV concentric neutral cable. First thing we have to do is we have to remove the jacket back. Here's our mark that we made at our bushing. We wanna measure down eight inches, and then we're gonna remove our jacket past eight inches past that mark. There's our eight inch mark. We're gonna put another mark right here. So now I wanna remove my jacket from here back to this eight inch mark right here. So I'm gonna use a scoring tool to score this jacket. Every blade depth's a little bit different. Usually about 60 works good for this cable. Now that my jacket scored, I'm going to remove my jacket. Okay, you did notice we have, we have gave ourselves a little bit of extra center neutral. That's just so we can be able to ground our cable once we get uh, the elbows made up. Next, we want to put some mastic here so we can bring our concentric down. You can give it a set as a light tap, you know, mold it into the mastic. I'm going to put a little black tape around our, our mastic. When we have our jacket removed, we want to go back, get our eight, inch, eight inches back. So we're going to come back here, measure our eight inches. Now we're going to have to cut off our excess cable from here. Copper tape shield cable is a little different than concentric neutral cable because there's no way to connect the copper tape to the ground without having to use some kind of shield adapter kit. So shield adapter kit is what we're going to use to convert the copper tape 
to something that we can connect to the ground. Same measurement supply. We're using, whether we're using copper tape or concentric, we're gonna start with our eight inch mark. So from wherever you marked your cable on your bushing, you're gonna measure down eight inches and remove that much jacket from your cables. Again, we're gonna score our jacket so we can remove it. Copper tape is very sharp and it will cut you. Children after kids do come with their own instruction sheet. This instruction sheet is different than the instruction to come for the elbow. For the shield after kit, we need to we want to leave one inch of the tape shield attached, and everything else we're going to remove. To install the shield adapter kit again, we're going to put some mastic around the jacket. You want to lay your cable, your braid, down on, on top of your copper tape. Take your constant force spring. You want to go around your braid. two times. After that, you want to bend your brain over and continue with your constant force spring. Want to add another piece of mastic here. Then you want to tape up your, your spring. Next thing we need to do is after that, we have to expose the two and one eighth inches of the conductor. Have our tool set on two and eighth inches. Now our conductor is exposed. This is where our connector go. After that, we need to crimp our connector on. So only connectors, you need to make sure you facing your bushing and you want the flat part of your connector where the probe is going to be to be facing the bushing insert. Always wire brush your cable to remove the oxidation. Always keep the inhibitor inside the connector. Do not take it out. The elbow kits have the crimp chart that comes with the instruction sheet. So make sure you understand when did you have the right crimp tool, the right die, and you crimp this the right number of times. Rotate your tool each time you crimp. Okay, now that you've got your lug crimped, you want to measure six and seven eighths inches from the end of your lug. And now we have to move our semicon layer and expose our insulation from this point all the way up to here. Here we're gonna use this tool here. It's a scoring tool. We're gonna to score the semicon. It's very important. Remove the semicon layer that you do not damage the installation. We want to start out with a square cut, and we need to be perfectly square. Electricity does not like jagged edges, so a jagged edge is a failure. I put this stop on here, and I'm making sure that I get that square cut that I'm looking for. Go around one time, spiral out the rest of the way.
All right, make sure we have a nice square cut, no jagged edges. Be sure that you don't have any, you didn't cut too deep right here. If you can feel the, the cut with your fingernail, that means it's too deep. You need to start over. Now we're just gonna, we're gonna chamfer this cable. Next thing we need to do is clean this cable. The cable's got to be nice and clean. And I have no residue, no semicon left over, no dirt, no grease, nothing. So there's different types of cable cleaners that are made specifically to clean this cable. Do not just use any type of cleaner to clean this cable. Use a new napkin every time. Now that your cable is clean, you need to add your silicone to supplied with the elbow. Make sure you use the supplied silicone and no other types. Take the silicone and you want a nice, even coat all the way around the insulation. This is to fill any minute air voids and also aid in the installation of the elbow and keep it watertight. Now you're ready to install your elbow. To be able to slide it on, line up your probe. Very important to not to damage the white part of the probe, contaminate it in any way. So y'all would want to kind of protect that white part of the probe as you're installing the probe into the elbow. To so get it started, you can use your wire wrench. Very important to make sure that you have the probe torqued into the, the connector properly. To, none, to know you had that, you had to take and bend, turn and tighten the probe with this wrench until you bend the wrench 90 degrees out of uh, from where it's, where it's original position. So. so your wrench should end up looking like this when you get done. Now we're ready to install our jacket seal kit to keep moisture from getting into our jacket. That's how you want to do it. Take you a piece of your concentric and ground your elbow. Now the rest of your concentrics, you can squeeze them to your ground of your transformer and bond them to the earth. Before you plug your elbow into your bushing, you need to make sure that you add silicone, thin coat of silicone around your bushing insert. The other thing, these bushings have a seating indicator ring which means once you plug the elbow on, if you see yellow, it means that your, your elbow is not fully seated onto the bushing. So you want to plug the elbow on until the yellow goes away. Now you know you're fully seated onto the bushing. 